only way the numbers in your analysis really work is through your company obtaining the, the monopoly rights to solar utility scale uh, uh, production and delivery of, of energy in the state because it's the only way to get the rates, uh, the, the appropriate rates in the bond issuance that make the numbers work. No, man. Um, what I'm saying is that's the way it works the best. That's how you get the best financial performance. So how do the, do the numbers work if, if we do break up the territorial act and if there are people who can use the geothermal um, uh, utility of Georgia, the solar utility of Georgia, <coughs> the cold fusion utility of Georgia, as we go further down. Or we end up. So yeah. what you end up with is this model, this form is designed to yield this number right here that you see on the rate reduction funds. That yields, the, that's the highest yield we can get to hand back by using this model. Now, if you want to go with, you know, let's say, a PPA, one of the issues with PPAs is the cost of money, which would be this number, the bond, the bond payments will go up. It won't be a bond payment, it'll be another, but it'll cost more. And you essentially erode. The, the value of the opportunity. Because remember, as, as, as a group, we have something we have that's very valuable. But aren't we then looking at, as we look at this number and, and in this architectural structure, the rate, the the uh, the rates are rebated to the customer. But didn't you also say that this is the architecture? But what the, what the public service commission actually decides to do with that? is not necessarily rebate the, this money to the yeah. customer. We don't control that. There's no question. We're just simply showing what can be done. That's what we're saying. So there's 